6 o'clock. We are on our way to Helmet Lang. It's not even today. We got the wrong date on my calendar. Who's gonna get eaten alive? I walked up, it looked like there was a photo shoot and then everybody took the, everything down. And the designer was there. So she's looking at me and she's, you know, she kept looking, but she has her mask on and I'm like, I'm talking. And they're like, you look amazing. And I, and I was like, thank you. I was like, can you hear my pants a mile away? She was like, yeah, because they kind of like make some noise. I was like, you know, it's Tin, tin Man, make a fashion. You know, like, you know, we're just like shooting. The I was like, this is Helmet Lang, right? She's like, yeah. I was like, I'm here for a presentation. She goes, that's tomorrow. And I'm like, you're joking. She goes, oh my God, you look so cool. Can you come back tomorrow? I was like, if I come back tomorrow, I have to wear the same exact outfit and I need to take my photo. <laughs> So then she introduced me to the designer who was standing right there. She was like, she's the one who designed the pants. And I was like, oh my God, thank you. I was like, these are amazing, whatever. She's like, the shoe and everything, they look good I on you. I told you the shoe. And I was like, thank you. I said, okay, so I have to wear this outfit tomorrow. Like the same exact outfit, so just please act surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so I met three people. They were all really sweet. And I got the wrong day. And like, that was a huge waste of time because we were stuck in traffic. But it's okay, because you know why? I'm gonna change my clothes back into this outfit here. What's 33 Howard Street? That is La Pointe. Okay, so that's where I'm going now. This is how we do it. I mean, part of me just wants to go to Saks because Paris Hilton is DJ. And she's so funny. <laughs> I grew up in the Paris Hilton era where everything is just hysterical. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Snatch my entire face up. Absolutely. I love a good ponytail. It gives you the instant facelift. Navasha is here on the hair. Hello. Getting ready for day three of New York Fashion Week. But you know what? Today is actually a very chill day. I'm very excited to have this snatched pony. Look, I, my hair has grown so much since I've had braids. It's the vitamins. It's the vi <laughs> It's really, it's something that must be in the water. It's the juice you've been drinking. Drink the same water. <laughs> you too can have long hair. Alkaline water. <laughs> Thank you, Essential. It's early in the morning and we're cracking up like this. Like, had four hours of sleep last night. I'm almost delirious. Good morning. 
that is a wrap on Michael Kors, the first show of the day. Thank goodness I have a huge break today. Uh, my next show is not until the evening, but I'll take you to a couple of presentations today, but we need to shoot some campaigns and actually do some like other work. Um, but a Navasha with the, with the baby hair lay is my favorite. And the fact that my hair is <laughs> so long today, I really love the snatch up. I feel like it just like really pulls your face up, but nevertheless, it is Friday. Hello, hello. Obviously, I could not bring a camera to last night because things, it's just, it's so much. Like, I'm like filming myself and stuff, but I want to take you with me on these experiences because they're so much fun. But last night, I went to Roger Vivier. I started talking so much, I forgot to film footage there. After that, we went to Coach. It was over, okay? It, it was supposed to be done at 8. We got there at 7.59. So we walked into Coach, took a photo, took some um, photos there at Coach, and then we went to, right down the block was the sax party, and that party didn't start till nine. And I was just gonna go home, but then I ran into um, some friends, and they were like, no, this is gonna be the party of the year. And you know what? I'm easily influenced. <laughs> After being on lockdown for a year, I was just kind of like, yeah, all right, let's go to this party. So we went to Nobu to go grab some drinks and wait for the time. And then we went to Saks and we went to that party and it was amazing until, can we please look into this? Someone stepped on my foot in high heels. It's swelling. I can't walk. I don't want you to see my toes, that's why I'm covering it because my toes aren't done. It, I tried to put on my Prada loafers just now. I can't walk in them because it hurts so bad. So now I have to wear- Black and blue. It's gonna turn green probably. She stepped on my foot in high heels and then scraped it across because she was like falling a little bit. Is that dog okay? This dog is driving me crazy. Hey, how do you break this hair again? Okay, and we're back. So that's what happened. I got home so late last night, crashed. Navasha came early this morning. She came at, um, she actually came at eight, which was a little bit later, but I was so dead. I couldn't even wake up, but I had to wake up because London needed to get to school and my husband actually did everything. I just had to do her hair. And then she came downstairs in some like pink tights and like a white jumpsuit. I was like, what are you wearing? She was like, I'm so cold at school. I was like, it's still summer basically. So I like changed her outfit into jeans and stuff. So we did that. First show was Michael Kors today. This was my hairstyle for it. Changed outfits. Now we have a huge break. It's already 2.30 though. I actually have to work on some campaigns right now. Then I'm gonna go back to the city, meet Allie, go to that presentation that wasn't yesterday, that is today, go to a show, and then get back in the car, come back to Brooklyn for my last show, come home tonight, and I'm going to sleep. That is going to be today. And then tomorrow, I think we only have two shows. Sunday, I don't know what I have, but that's about it. That's where we are right now. We're a little sleepy, but we're gonna get shit done. I laid down for 20 minutes and you know what? Ready to rock and roll. So I gotta go guys, cause I got campaigns to shoot and I will chat to you later. So I found this um, this belt. So my, uh, Lydia May sent me this belt, and I feel like I am Laura Croft from Tomb Raider, right? I feel like it could be a vibe. I'm gonna put it on a blazer, like on top over here. We will see. To be continued.
salon today. I don't have Naivasha today, but I am getting my hair done. So I thought that I would vlog while I'm here. So it is pretty, pretty busy in here today. Good morning. Good Look morning. Look who's here. Look who's here. Hi, we are on the last day of New York Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. I woke up this morning and I tried to send London to school. Because <laughs> on a Sunday. I thought it was Monday. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I really thought it was Monday, guys. I was like, Lennon, come on, let's go. You're going to be late. She was like, what are you talking about? She's like, late for what? She had on her Christmas pajamas. the last fashion week show uh, for New York um, but I actually drove and I thought I was gonna like not make the show um, I got there at like 3 16 the show starts at 3 but they're always late anyway long story short I parked at a hydrant and I ended up not getting a ticket so bless up I feel I'm feeling very lucky today I am starving just changed my clothes um, in the car I'm actually really happy that I drove. I'm eating one of these Saqqara metabolism powders. I, I don't have, uh, I mean, not powder, bars. I don't have a dinner until 7, and it's only 5.30. I'm like, literally need to eat now. So, all that to say, 
Altazora was my last show, such a beautiful show, and New York Fashion Week is a wrap. not Yoshi's birthday. Yeah. You're crazy, Rio. Are you dressed in your pajamas, Rio? Yes. Yoshi's wearing lovely pajamas mm -hmm. this morning. Don't you look fantastic, Yoshi? <laughs> ah, Yoshi. Ah. Pre-birthday glam. Pre-birthday glam for this girl. So it is way past my bedtime. It is like 10.50 and I am supposed to be going to a party tonight. Um, the, some party, right? So I did my own glam. Look, I even, I even did my own hair. I'm very proud of myself. It took me forever to tie this fake hair into my hair. But now it is pouring outside and the party is outside. So what do we do? Do we take it all off and go to sleep? Or do we just get an umbrella and just go to this party? Mm -hmm. 